Ah, tunaenda kwa GBP. Anza 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 mambo mwanangu. Tunaenda kwa GBP USD. GBP USD yeye. Yeah. Alishawa validate, alishawa validate sera zi tayari. At this point ya yeah. na kiufupi tu ni kwamba GBP USD na GBP JPY ni pe ambazo zinaendana sana. Zinarandana sana. Kwa hiyo atakacho kifanya GBP JPY ndicho atakacho kifanya GBP USD hata kama atachelewa. But area of concentration ni kwamba uwezekano mkubwa wa eneo ambalo atarudi ni hili eneo hapa. Sawa. So, ni hii zoni ya chini au hizo ni mpya ambayo alitengeneza hapa juu baada ya kuwa na base baada ya kuwa na drop then akatengeneza base lakini pia akawa na hii lali hapa so the return inaweza ikawa ni this point hapa au asifike hapa akaja kukomea kwenye kwenye hii point hapa juu atisizani kama alivunja hapa so kama kuvunja hapa it means that the area ambayo atarudi ni hii area hapa. Kwa tunachokisubiri kukiona ni kumuona tu GBP USD akija kwenye his area and then tunatarajia kumuona akiendelea kwenda wapi? Kwenda kwenda juu. Hicho ndio kitu ambacho natarajia kukiona kwa GBP USD. Kwa hiyo GBP USD hana maajabu sana mapya ila atakachokifanya ni the same alichokifanya GBP GBP GPY okay na atakapotoka hapo chini the next stop itakuwa ni hapo juu before haja drop okay kwa hiyo hicho ndio kitu ambacho tunakitarajia kwenye GBP GBP USD So GBP USD guys kama nilivyosema na ni expect hicho kitu hapo Sasa ambao mjazima ngoja ni wa ni wa nani ni wa mute Tani same Okay ni wa mute Kwa GBP JPY na GBP USD ni, ni kitu sawa ambacho nafanya nini nafanya kwa hiyo kama i said and you are by us key kwa hiyo the same thing zone ambayo inatarajiwa kurudiwa hii zone hapa ndio zone peke ambayo tunatarajia kumuona GBP USD akirudi and then ku push kwenda hapa ku push kwenda kwenda juu Okay. Sasa pea ambazo zina mkuku na msala ni GBP I mean ni Nasdaq na Gold zina maseke ya kutosha kwa kweli. Gold na GBP nani na GBP GBP USD is on I mean US Tech au Nasdaq. Haya ndo mabea ambayo yana msala huyu hana msara sana kwa sababu ali break zone lakini akarudi kultest kwenye zone na, na safari ya miaka. Kwa hiyo kwenye Nasdaq kitu ambacho kinatarajiwa kuwepo tu ni kwamba ali manage ku break surprise zone na kuifanya surprise zone iwe demand zone. Okay. Na baada ya ku manage ku break amerudi ametoa confirmation kwenye nini kwenye zone husika na tuki, tukae tukijua kabisa kwamba the time wanaondoka hapa sellers what aliwa aliwafunga lakini akawapa go ahead buyers what kuendelea na trend wapi kuendelea na trend juu so kama buyers wamepewa go ahead mtarajie kumuona Nasdaq akiendelea kupush wapi kupush juu na that's why last week kwa watu ambao walifuatilia trade zangu 
nilichukua Nasdaq trade kwenye hii point hapa kwenye that point ndipo ambapo nilichukulia Nasdaq ku buy as an invalidation point lakini ikiwa kwenye daily demand zone ambayo ilibadilika kutoka kwenye supply zone kwa nini kwa demand zone and still bado sijafunga kwa sababu na expect kuiona na nini inaendelea juu lakini pia for how ikaja ikanipa ikanipa kitu kingine ya kwamba ikanipa this is an invalidation point kama tulivyozungumza lakini price ilipo fail kurudi hapa ilitengeneza new invalidation point japo ilikuja ku miss pips charge lakini ilinipa entry due to the demand zone so this the demand zone ilinipa entry and hii ndo entry ambayo ya yeah, hii ndo entry ambayo niko nayo hii hapa ya chini nilifunga lakini hii hapa ndo entry ambayo bado nipo niko nayo na ni almost pips 1600 hivi pips 1600 so hicho ndo kitu siri ambacho na, na nazidi kukiona next week tutegemee nini mimi ninachotegemea na tegemea tu kuona Nasdaq Nasdaq akiendelea juu kwa sababu tayari alishatoa zone hapa nyingine ah japokuwa zone sio fresh kwa sababu ina touch tatu tayari kwa wale ambao mmesoma supplemented demand mnaelewa the fre, fre, I mean refreshment of the zone Iki, ikiwa na touch zaidi ya tatu hiyo zone still bado sio I mean hiyo zone imeshapoteza fresh kwa hiyo kuna uwezekano pia price ikarudi kwa sababu imeshindwa ku manage ku break this zone hapa sorry imeshindwa ku manage ku break hii zone hapa juu na kushinda kushindwa kwa ku break hii zone hapa juu kuna uwezo kupelekea hii price ku push chini kurudi kwenye kwenye demand zone hapa chini and then ndio ikaendelea juu kwa hiyo chochote kinawezekana kinachotakiwa tu macho yetu ni kuangalia confirmation kwenye hii zone confirmation pia kwenye hii zone kwa hiyo tuna uwezekano wa kuwa na kitu kama hiki then this like this way then tuka, tuka drop mpaka hapa and then after here ndo tukaenda wapi after hapo ndo tukaenda juu kwa hiyo hivyo ndio vitu ambavyo natarajia kuviona kwenye Nasdaq for the coming week so kama tutakuja kutoa touch ya nne hapa na ikaconfirm ku sell i'm sure that haito manage kutoku break this zone kwa sababu ni zone ambayo iko very weak lakini kama itatokea imepush na ikavunja this zone kwa kitu ambacho nitakitarajia tu ni kwamba ni, ni kuiona hii narudi hapa then kuendelea juu kwa sababu hii zone pia na yenyewe sio fresh sababu ina touch mbili kwa hiyo ikishapata touch ya tatu ikarudi chini price itakapokuja kurudi itavunja au ikavunjwa direct na kupata retest on the on the, the supply zone ambayo itageuka kuwa demand zone na kuendelea wapi na kuendelea juu yeah kwa hiyo hivyo ndio vitu ambavyo navitarajia kuviona kwenye Nasdaq au US Tech au US 100 kwa kwa, kwa mabloka tofauti tofauti lakini kwa mabloka wengine ni, ni Nasdaq kama kuna swali kwenye hilo kama kuna swali before sijamalizia gold na 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 euro USD ambazo pia zimependekezwa kama kutakuwa na muda pia tutajadili pia zingine kama kuna swali washa tu maikiulize hello Hello msipo nipa go ahead na shindwa nifanyeje Naona kimya bro wewe endelea tu Kimya swali Tumeelewa tumeelewa Okay bro Sa So pea mwisho Pea mwisho I mean ya pili na ya, ya, ya kabla ya GBP ya euro I mean ya gold nataka ni, ni mguse euro USD 
ilo USD hii wiki kikweli hata mimi alinichanganya kwa sababu the way alivyokuwa na drop sikumuelewa lakini nilikuja kumuelewa pale ambapo alirudi kwenye zone then aka drop lakini angalizo kwa euro USD angalizo kwa euro USD euro USD ameshafika kwenye tuseme ameshafika kwenye ameshakaribia na nafikia hajafika vizuri ameshafika kwenye kwenye surprise zone tunasema na kama ameshafika kuna concept ambayo watu wengi hawaijui naomba ni nitolee ufafanuzi hapa kwenye kwenye euro usd sometimes tulisema kwamba kwenye downtrend tulielezea lakini kwenye uptrend hatukuelezea tunasema kwamba kwenye uptrend this cycle ni kwamba ili trend ibadili mwelekeo it's supposed to have uh, I mean inatakiwa kuwa na ku break previous higher higher up lakini pia i break previous higher low down like this way so baada ya ku break kitu ambacho kinatakiwa inatakiwa ije ku test to this point and then ndo to validate sellers kuendelea na trend kwenda chini si tunaelewana hapo vizuri kama hujaelewa ni bora uniulize kwa sababu nikishaenda nimeenda. Umeelewana vizuri hapo? Mimi sielewa. Wewe hujaelewa. Kinachofanyika ni nini? Narudia tena. Kinachofanyika ni nini? Tunapokuwa kwenye uptrend. In order to change a trend, we are supposed to break previous higher higher before the last higher higher lakini to break previous lower low like that way kwa hiyo previous high high and he before getting last high high na tunapokuja ku break expectation kubwa ni kwamba the return of the price to validate a sellers inakuwa kwenye hii area hapa so this area inakuwa known as invalidation point kwa kifupi tu tunasema mv okay inakuwa known as invalidation what invalidation point so the price baada ya ku test at this point in a drop wapi in a drop chain but sometimes the price fell ah uh, ni kute tu chache sometimes price in a fair kuja ku touch at that point in a in a drop is a hapa au popote pale inatengeneza another low down so kama ikitengeneza kitu kama hiki an invalidation point ina move from there na kuwa new invalidation point pale chini upande wa chini sikuielezea vizuri lakini naomba nielezee kila mtu aielewe so this become a new invalidation point okay in ndio inakuwa new invalidation point so kama itatengeneza another or low before testing this it means that the area to be tested inabadilika kutoka hili na kuwa new invalidation point ndio kile kitu ambacho nilikuwa nakizungumzia kwenye gbpj apy hapa kwa hawa gbpj apy hapa kwamba fail to test this invalidation point this become a new invalidation point lakini all all that ni kwamba ni after the break of this ni after break of this previous high, uh, mini higher low ilipokuja kuwa broken the expectation price ilikuwa ni contest at this point lakini ime fail na baada ya ku fail imetengeneza another high high huku juu okay so the area ambayo natarajia the market test then kuendelea na trend kwenye new invalidation point sio kwenye invalidation point 10 ndio kitu ambacho kipo hapa kwenye euro usd ambacho najaribu kukielezea hapa kwenye nini kwenye euro usd mantra ni kwa mantra ndio kitu ambacho najaribu kukielezea kwenye nini kwenye euro usd hapa but it was weekly it was weekly 
So then the area of reverse in a ni new what? ni new invalidation. So this is it, uh, number number three. Lakini kitu cha mwisho sijakielezea na ndio kitu ambacho kiko expected kutokea hapa hapa by the way. Ndio kitu ambacho mimi nakitarajia kukiona kabisa hapa kufanya nini? Kutokea ni kwamba the tunajua kabisa kwamba to change a trend we are supposed to break this previous high high and higher low impulsively like this. So lakini sometimes price inafanya kitu kifuatacho niangalia kwa umakini inapoenda kuwa kule juu kabla ya ku break inatengeneza haya haya na haya low and then ndo inakuja kufanya nini inakuja ku break all our eyes inakuwa kwenye kuseli kwenye invalidation point okay tuki expect kabisa kwamba the price itatoka hapa na itakuja hapa then it validate trend it validate sellers na ku drop wapi na ku drop chini ila kinachokuja kufanyika ni vice versa ni kwamba always the price inakuja ku at this point and this most inatokea kwenye pair ambazo zina euro ndani yake euro gbp euro jpy euro nzd euro card euro audi euro usd mara nyingi sana inatokea na euro GP, euro gbp ndio pair pekee ambayo inaongoza kwa kuwa na hivi vitu kwamba price i mean price price inakuja ku test at this point na sio hapa aka na sio hapa chini ni hapa juu most of time sana hicho ndo kitu ambacho kinafanyika so price inapotoka hapa inakuja ku test at this point then ndo tunafanya nini ndo tuna drop chini namba ni waonyeshe kwenye euro gbp kilichofanyika na ni moja ya maeneo ambayo nilichukulia trades daily it was daily by the way or weekly this is daily daily in kohara I'm not sure kama itaonekana vizuri lakini i will try to show it with my best ah ni kipande kimoja hapa ukifuatilia instagram utaona trade yake ipo ni hiki kipande hapa ni hiki kipande hapa lakini kuna kipande kingine kiko hapa kiko hapa juu kwa nitaanza na nitaanza na hiki alafu nitafuta hiki hapa juu hiki kipande hapa kilichofanyika ni nini ndio nataka kuielezea hiyo concept niliyokuwa naizungumzia hapo kwenye USD tunajua kabisa invalidation point ilikuwa ni hii point hapa kilichofanyika ni hivi tukawa na down tukawa na this break up then tukawa na hapa na hii down tukawa na up kidogo and then tukaja ku break so all expectation is our twengi ambao wana trade is this trading methodology ni hapa wali expect kabisa kwamba the price will come and test at this point and then do what drop lakini kilichofanyika ni vice versa price ilichokifanya haikutesti at this point ilikuja kutesti at this point kwa hiyo ile concept ndio inakuja kuwa applicable sasa kwamba sometimes the price inachokifanya sorry sorry kwa kwenda faster kidogo sometimes price inachokifanya ni kwamba mba nitumie hizi line sorry Ina, inafanya kitu kama hiki inakuwa na up then inakuwa na down ndio inakuja inafanya nini ina break so expectation is that wengi zinakuwa hapa lakini price inakuja kutesti what inakuja kutesti hapo juu so that is the concept ambayo nilikuwa nafanya nini nilikuwa naizungumzia kwa hiyo hicho ndo kitu ambacho kilikuja kutokea hapa price ilipokuja ilikuja kutesti at this point and then ndio ikafanya nini ndio ikadrop nafikiri 
hiki ndio kilikuja kutokea as you see there price ilivunja hii invalidation point lakini kaja ku test this so this is another concept ambayo natakiwa kuwa nayo akilini mwako especially on euro pairs hiyo hiyo ya kwanza lakini point nyingine ambayo nitaka nikuonyeshe nitaka nikuonyeshe kwenye kwenye euro 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 jpy i mean euro gbp hii point hapa juu this point hapa namba nikatia hapa set chart nafikiri kila mtu anaona kila mtu anaona vizuri kila mtu anaona kilichofanyika hapa price ili break chini lakini pia upande wa juu price ilifanya nini ili break so an invalidation point was, was this lakini remember the price before break ilitengeneza high high i mean ilitengeneza high low na high high so kama itengeneza high high na high low before break at this point to create this to hii 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 invalidation point price ilicho kifanya badala ya ku return and test kwenye invalidation point hapa price ilizidi na ikaja ku test at this point ukitembelea five star trade sutaiona post ya hii trades ambayo nilichukua hapo na this was the reason kwa hiyo hicho ndo kitu ambacho kilikuja kufanyika price ilienda ikagota mpaka pale alafu ndo ikafanya nini ika drop ndo kitu ambacho natarajia kukiona kwenye euro usd all that nitaka tu nikuonyeshe lakini kitu ambacho natakiwa natarajia na, na, na kukiona kwenye 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 euro usd hicho hapo that this was an invalidation point weekly an invalidation point lakini price before drop ilitengeneza high high na high low huko so uwezekano mkubwa wa price reverse in at that point lakini watch your eye globally the price ilikuwa ilitengeneza lar ikatengeneza base lakini pia ikatengeneza lar so uwezekano mkubwa kabisa wa, wa this one kuwa ni, ni demand zone huko kwa hiyo price before haijafika bare tuna uwezekano wa kuona kitu kama hiki alafu ndo tuje hapa and then ndo tuka drop na baada ya ku drop this we will count it as an invalidation point so that is the perception ambayo niko nayo na hicho ndo kitu ambacho nakifikiria akili ni mwangu kwa hiyo tuna kuna uwezekano mkubwa wa kuona some sales this week lakini tukaanza ku buy au tuka sell this week and next week tuka buy paka tuje tuifikie hii point hapa juu this week le point hapa juu and after candle closure below i expected to have a sell lakini another 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 fact ambayo inanipa nguvu mimi ni kwamba hapa kuna 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 zone kuna kuna demand zone i mean not demand zone ni supply zone this zone here hii ni sub, ni supply zone kwa hiyo pia kuna uwezekano mkubwa kabisa kwamba a lot of pending order za big banks au big dealers zikawa ziko pressed hapa na baada ya ku, na, na baada ya price kufika hapa tukashuhudia tuka some series either mpaka huku chini au mpaka hapa that's all about on euro usd lakini kiurahisi zaidi let me show huyu hao kitu ambacho mimi natarajia kukiona kitu kikubwa ambacho natarajia kukiona kwenye euro i mean kwenye euro usd ni hiki hapa that this is our invalidation our invalidation point ambayo tume tunaishuhudia tuna hapa na ndo point ambayo naiona mimi down then we have this up mpaka hapa lakini tuli break chini then tukaja tuka break juu na baada ya ku break juu tuli fail kufika kwenye hii point so we have a new invalidation point hapa okay we have a new invalidation point hapa and this new invalidation point hii ndo area ambayo mimi kiukweli i'm confident to take a trade to be honest kwenye euro usd area ambayo niko confident kuchukua trade ni hii hapa so still bado na, na expect kuona kabisa 
price na expect kuona price sorry na changanya vitu hapo na changanya drawing kwa hiyo hicho ndio kitu ambacho mimi na natarajia na, na, na kukiona test this point alafu ndo nita expect kuanza kuona buyers lakini pia nikiangalia hii zone ina nguvu sana ina nguvu sana kwa sababu ina ina, ina kila sifa ya kuwa ya kuwa demand zone walio soma subprime demand wanaelewa ina kila sifa za kuwa demand zone kwa kweli kwa sababu we have this we have this lali we have this lali then you get drop ambayo itengeneza base then it kawa na lali okay so this ni moja ya ya, ya point ambayo naiona ina nguvu sana kwa hiyo euro usd ni moja ya pea ambayo itakuwa na nafasi kubwa wiki hii ku trade lakini pia pea kama gold pia itakuwa na nafasi kubwa ya ku trade wiki hii so that's what i'm expecting kukiona so that's what i'm expecting kwenye kwenye euro usd labda kama kuna swali is there any question guys ndo kupiga pea ya mwisho gold okay kimi anaro lingibu na kiri wa nanipa go ahead let me continue on gold au, au kuna mtu anaswali maana naona kama kuna mic imewashwa hapana nataka tu nikwambie kwamba uendelee bro okay sasa on gold kiukweli walio buy kwangu mimi na hapa pole kwa sababu ni msala kui buy ni msala japo kulitokea baadhi ya buy nafikiri ni kwa sababu ya kwenda kuvalidate sellers kwa hiyo mimi ninachokiona kwenye gold ni hiki hapa that it was having an invalidation point hapa ambayo haijarudi kwa tested lakini we have this new validation point. Nafikiri this is the key point ambazo sisi tunatakiwa wanazo nini? Wanazo makini, especially this one. Hii ndio area ambayo mtu atabai gold. Atabai gold kutoka hapa mpaka hapa juu. Okay? Hii ndio area ambayo mtu atabai gold confidently. Na mimi gold nilimbai hapa last week nikachukua some pips lakini pia nilikuja kumsell hapa nikachukua some pips ila macho yangu makubwa yako huko lakini pia kitu ambacho kinanipa confident ya kwamba sikubai gold hapa sasa hivi ni uongo kwa sababu we have invalidation point and we have new invalidation point na tayari tuna clean confirmation kabisa ya kwamba the coming week tunaanza kwa kumsell gold kwa hiyo from there confidently mimi namchukua gold kusell kuanzia hapa kuanzia hapa kuanzia hapa mpaka hapa okay nafikiri ni almost pips 700 na kuanzia hapo mpaka hapo. Hiyo ndo area ambayo mimi naiona ni very safe kwa mtu kuchukua trade. Lakini tukiwa na guarantee ya stop loss above invalidation point. Okay? Ambayo ni almost pips sabini na kwa hiyo ni one lesho lesho 10 ni risk nzuri tu one lesho 10 kwa hiyo mtu confident atachukua trade hapa na ata hold mpaka hapa chini then atachukua buy kuja kwa approach the point hapa juu ambayo ni zaidi ya pips elfu moja na almost almost elfu moja mia tano mia sita hivi elfu moja mia tano umeona so 
that's all about my perception or my forecast kwenye gold lakini pia kwenye euro usd kwenye nasdaq kwenye gbp usd na gbp jpy guys kwa pe ambazo zilipendekezwa kiukweli nimemaliza sasa ni kazi kwako wewe kukaa na kusubiri confirmation lakini pia ku monitor price imefika wapi nifanye nini price imefika wapi nifanye nini so that's all about lakini pairs yenye nafasi kubwa mimi kwangu wiki hii jbpg usd na jbpg apy zita zitakuchukua muda na zitakusumbua kuziidentify kama au utakuwa makini lakini gold euro usd ni very open pair gold euro usd ni very open pair sasa kaka ndio mimi hapa ni hii link nimepewa alafu yani hata siyo nakupataje siyo na groups mimi link nimefuadiwa hapa na kusikiliza wewe hata siyo yani siyo kikuiti hapa nakupataje ah uh, instagram natumia official himself lakini pia eh? Instagram natumia official himself lakini pia aliyekufuadia linki unaweza tu ukamuomba na ukamuomba namba yangu au ukamuomba Telegram namba yangu au namba yangu atakupatia kwa sababu aliyekutumia linki amchua official kama official kwenda zako shika nini tuta 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 umesikia eh e gold tutaifanyia tutaifanyia tena wenyewe Goldi tunakumbuka kipindi kile tu inasa vizuri. Na waambiaje mimi bado ninayo. Bye. Waendelea kuhold, waendelea kuhold tayari. Lakini mimi itakavyofungua soko leo. Nimeshasema bye. Eh na umeshasema bye. Nilikuangalia tu spiro na toa bye. Nikasema mmm. Sawa. Lakini haina siri bye, ili bye kweli. Hakuna wa ndugu ya maki kwa sababu nisaidie basi mimi umeona official umeona hiyo eh hiyo pini mwanangu nzito ndio na kusikia tu atikaka ndio na kusikia kabisa Telegram una, una groups eh, Telegram na channel hii inaitwa 5 Star Trades ukitafuta 5 Star Trades utaipata Kisech uh-huh. Iko public Yeah lakini Instagram natumia official himself ngoja nikuonyeshe hapa Instagram Instagram sasa sungeni pato na namba moja ni pe mates 07 Mbona ni andi? 62 Subiri ni andi. 07 Eh 96 06 Mhm. Tisa tisa. Ah. Instagram sumeona hapo hiyo ndo namba ambayo natumia. Nasema Telegram WhatsApp si wapi kote. Kaka. Mhm. Nakusikia kaka. Kama Hello. Nakusikia kaka. Hii five star naona zipo mbili. Naona kuna five star trades. Trades. Yeah. Hapo yeah. nafasi ta trade discussion. Ipi. Ah, uh, ukijoin channel hii hata hiyo discussion ni ya kwangu kwa sababu hiyo discussion mtu yote anaweza kutuma message lakini kwenye five star trade some um, kwenye hawezi hawezi kutuma message ni kwamba utaona ah, okay. utaona updates tu. Ah, okay. By the way muda umeisha lakini video na hisi nitaziweka YouTube. 
si ndiyo ili wa rais bana watu wako sem tofauti tofauti ndaziweka youtube na linki itapatikana kwenye instagram page yangu na fikiri kila mtu nimemuonyesha instagram page ni ni official himself okay tuwe na usiku mwema lakini pia niwatakie wiki njema kwenye trading asanteni kwa mda wenu paka next week